Holmes throws it to Thomas. Back to Holmes. Oh, he's cutting inside, still Sean Holmes. Still Holmes, he's going to have a strike! Oh, just past the post from Sean Holmes. There's a good bit of play there, cut inside. B2 players struck his shot, they have cut the post and it's gone for a goal kick. Edwards plays the ball in, nice layoff from Morel to Trundle. Trundle plays it out to the far side to Paul Edwards. This time ball in, Hector Sam with a header! And Hector Sam has got the goal, two minutes from time. And Wrexham take the lead. A superb ball in from Paul Edwards. And Hector Sam got in front of his marker. So power his head at home. And Wrexham, they have won the three points today. Lawrence. Roberts. Nice ball down the line to Trumbull. What a great first touch from Lee Trumbull. Andy Morell wants it inside. Played it slightly behind him, Trumbull. Out to Carlos Edwards. Who stumbled a bit. Also, nice ball back to Whitley. Oh, and he's taken a deflection and gone off to the bar. Jim Whitley with a strike. He tried to place it into the top right hand corner, but unfortunately, the defender. Got his head to it, and he goes out for a corner. <laughs> Trundle, oh, that's good play from Lee Trundle. Edwards. A lot of movement up front. Nice ball through to Thomas. Trundle, oh, great bit of skill, skill left from Lee Trundle, and Lee Trundle chips the keeper and puts Wrexham in the lead. Absolute brilliant goal by Lee Trundle. 27 minutes gone, and it was a good ball in from Thomas to Trundle on the edge of the box. A little bit of skill, beats the defender, and Cooley chips the ball over the keeper. A great goal for Wrexham. Whitley. Oh, he loses out. Oh, he gets the ball back again and loses out again. And Boston come forward. Oh, to Rusk, he's free. One on one. Oh, that's a great reply by Rusk for Boston United. A similar finish to Lee Trundles in the first half by chipping the keeper. Roberts, Barrett, inside to Trundle, Lee Trundle again, it might be going away for the big man, oh, it's played off the line by Rusk, and away. Superb again by Lee Trundle, nearly got his second of the afternoon, another neat bit of skill in the penalty area, got his shot in, but it was played off the line. Edwards with the throw, deep one, just over Lawrence's head, Hooked away upfield as far as Roberts. Oh, he scarred it a little bit. Well won by Bennett. Roberts again makes amends, fires the ball forward. Morel knocks it to Hector Sam. Back foot for Trundle! Oh, Lee Trundle just hooks it past the post. Great play from Wrexham again. Hector Sam played the ball into Trundle. He chested it down superbly. Hooked it first time and just past the post. Good turn, gets away from Roberts. McEverly plays the ball back to Platt again. He has a strike. And it's an easy save for Andy Dibble in the Wrexham goal. Edwards. Whitley makes a run on the outside, but he decides to come inside to Lee Trundle. Back out to Whitley. Edwards has continued his run. Good play from Carlos Edwards. Back in for Thomas. Thomas with a superb goal after an absolute superb build-up play. 
Wexford take the lead, 13 minutes gone. Carlos Edwards, the main man, running down the right-hand side, gets the ball from Jim Whitley, hooks it into the inside, and Steve Thomas was there to blast the ball home. Simpson. Well, the danger's not cleared, McEverly's in there. Still McEverly! McEverly hooks the ball into the top of the net. And Rochdale back on level terms. Simpson with the free kick, left foot in. Oh, everybody's missed it! Nibbles left it. And Paul Simpson, the player manager, has claimed the goal. And Rochdale lead 2-1. Deep corner. Oh no, he's fallen for Griffiths. And he makes it three. A simple goal for Rochdale. 24 minutes gone. Rochdale lead 3 1. Lawrence to bring the ball out for Exxon. Back to Lawrence. Also, oh, good run from Andy Morell. Morell with this time strike. Oh, what a goal from Andy Morell. Superb finish from the prolific goal scorer. And Wrexham are back in the game. We've got ahead of Griffiths, Andy Morell, first time strike, right foot, he caught everybody surprised by surprise, and Edwards had no chance. Edwards. To Whitley. First time ball up to Andy Morell, nice layoff to Trumbull. Good movement down this left-hand side to Holmes. What's a first time cross into the box? Oh, and Andy Morell. What a chance. Goal goalkeeper Edwards never moved. But unfortunately for Andy Morell, he headed it past the post after a superb cross from Sean Holmes. Griffiths. Also, Paul headed from home straight to Simpson. Oh, and what's the referee giving? Oh, he's pointed to the penalty spot. The linesman's flag across his chest has given it. The fans are going mad here at the race course ground. The players are going mad. They said it was outside the box. The linesman definitely put the flag across his chest to say that it was inside the area. And Rochdale have got a penalty. Gonna be the player manager Paul Simpson, and he scores. Sends Andy Dibble the wrong way. And Paul Simpson makes it 4-2. With only three minutes left in the first half. Bergson plays a good ball to the far side to Carlos Edwards. Edwards continues his run. Trumbull. Held up by Griffiths. Or oh, Trundle Lara shot, flies off the bar. Morell, no, Holmes. Oh, what a save from Edwards. What a blinding save from the Rochdale goalkeeper from Sean Holmes. But it was Trundle's shot on the edge of the box that came off the crossbar. Thought Andy Morell might head it home, but he bounced over his head. Fell nicely to Sean Holmes on his left foot. Good strike, but what a save. Ball played inside, looking for Paul Simpson, but it was cut out by Steve Roberts. Back in again, McEverly. Oh, he's gone down, and the referees have awarded a penalty kick. The second time, Rochdale have been awarded a penalty in this game. Both times look soft. It was Sean Holmes who made the challenge. And it'd be Paul Simpson to take the penalty. And he tucks it away. Rochdale lead 5 2. There's not even an hour on the clock. Ferguson with a corner. Left footed. Oh, it's off the bar. Lee Trumbull with the header. 
great corner in again from Darren Ferguson. Trumbull at the near post, got up first, and he bounced off the back of the bar. Ferguson plays it into Trundle. Meet Flick on, looking for Andy Morrell. Oh, he's been brought down, what's the referee giving? He's pointed to the spot. And it's Andy Morrell against Kevin Dearden. And Morrell opens the scoring for Wrexham. 15 minutes gone, and Wrexham take the lead. The ball played out to this side to Canneville. He's made a space for a shot. Save. He fell nicely to Hill, and he took to home. Dearden launches the ball forward. Canavan with the flick on. Foul left. Oh, he's played a nice ball through to Graham. Still Graham. And he's finishing off for Turkey. David Graham, 29 minutes gone. And Turkey lead. Straight over to the far side. Paul Edwards. Paul Edwards now taking on a little bit. The two number 14s. And again, a good effort. Dangerous cross there from Paul Edwards, and he certainly, at the moment, got the beating of uh, Gus Ullenby. Get another dangerous cross in, which Dane Davison failed to get all of. And that's a great save. the corner. Adam Artery quickly closed down by Ferguson. Does well to get the ball to Wanjo, who saw Evans with the run. Bennett did well. Evans. Adam Artery wins that one. Standing wants it. Breaks through. Chance now for Bradford City. Oh, the chance for standing. Best chance of the match so far. Gray, challenged by Bennett. Oh, unlucky. Nobody there to help. Andy Gray out. It's a great ball finding Morrell. Morrell now. Chance for Morrell. Oh, and a great save by Davidson. Great save. Oh, great ball out by Dan Bennett. Jorgensen digs it back. Yes! Can a Martry finally does it? It's Ferguson now. Chips it forward. Myers with a header. Barrett. Ward stretching. Trundle with his first touch. To Holmes, back to Ferguson. Ferguson swings it in. Yeah! Ball not cleared. Morale, first time effort, makes it 1 0 and 1 8. Well then, the game has set a line, not Nicky Law looking rather despondent. Offside, a neat little flick there from Trungle. Morell on target again. It'll be the uh, survival of the fittest, I would say. Morell gets that header. Trungle taking on Molinar. Molinar comes across, puts it out for a throw in. Oh, 
Holmes gets round, Gray throws the ball in. Carlos Edwards. And that's it, game set and match. Again, the ball not cleared. Well, Dennis, you've got to be a happy man after that performance. Yes, I thought the performance was extremely good. Besides the result, for, for 90 minutes we passed the ball, we worked hard, uh, we did both sides of the game, uh, we closed the people down, we defended well, and you know, it looked as though we'd, we were going to have another unlucky day, but we uh, took a gamble, put three up, and things dropped for us, and we, we finished worthy winners, I thought. And two late goals, as you say, you can't ask for better, really, can you? At like about six early on, so I'd relax, but, <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's, it's a great finish for us and, and sends everybody home happy. Well, let's hope that you get a good, uh, you know, a good draw for the next round. Well, yeah, I've just said with Man United away, but I then realised <laughs> that you know, they don't come in until the third round, so we perhaps have to go through another round. Yeah, but it's not about that, it's about next Saturday, isn't it? it this Saturday coming, the, for the next game. Next Saturday it? and next Tuesday and the Saturday after that, it's week in and week out. If we perform like that, then we're going to give people problems. Well done, Dennis. Cheers. Cheers. Thanks. Long throw down the line. Back to Sam, who is being held back. And the referee's awarded a free kick against Terry Evans. And Evans will be the first one to receive a yellow card in this game. It's a free kick to Wrexham, about 25, 30 yards from goal. Bergson whips it in first time. Oh, Andy Morrell's got the header. And Wrexham take the lead. Ten minutes gone. And it was Ferguson with a quick free kick. And Andy Morrell goes above everybody to power his header home. Roberts. Good ball, looking for Sam. Moss. It's a poor ball by Moss. And Edwards picks it up down this left hand side. Ferguson into Morell. We're trying to flick it, but he's come back to Ferguson. Oh, it's a good header. Plays back for Morell. Oh, it's a great goal again for Wrexham. 2 0. And superb build up play between Ferguson, Sam, and Andy Morell. And it's Andy Morell from 12 yards out to fire the ball home. Morell. Ferguson. Edwards. Deep cross looking for Whitley. He's got on the end of it. Sam. Oh, he's made the space. And he finds the back of the net. Texas Sam. Another goal for Rexham. And it's now 3-0. It's only a third of the game gone. And it was Wigley's header back to Hector Sam. Three plays around him. He made the space before firing past Freestone. Long ball forward by Dibble. Edwards. Still Edwards. Still Edwards. He might go all the way here. So a brilliant goal for Carlos Edwards. He went past Lacey, first off. Eventually Evans and then Freestone before finding it home. <laughs> Ferguson out jumps. Roberts nods it forward. Phillips lays it back. Theobald fires it forward. And back goes Swansea. That's a freestone. 
Burrell puts a challenge. Oh, it's a poor pass just as far as Ferguson. Into Trundle. Oh, he's trying to chip in. Oh, he just passed the post from Lee Trundle. Sublime bit of skill from the big man. He had a quick look up, see Freestone was off his line. Chipped him and just passed the post. Barrett plays the ball out to the far side to Edwards. Good ball, first time cross. Whitley with the header! Just over the bar from Jim Whitley. There's a good crossing from Carlos Edwards. And Whitley got his header in. Out jumped McConnell, but just over the bar. Good crossing! Oh, it's a great goal from Andy Morrell. A free header. Gave Kevin Miller no chance. Ferguson whips it in. Oh, Morel's free! And Morel scores another goal for Rexham. A similar goal we got against Swansea. And Andy Morel makes it 2 0. Five minutes before half time. It was a good cross in again from Ferguson. Morel made the run, fell above the keeper, planted his head at home. Edwards. Over Morel's head, falls for Barrett. Still Morel. Away come Exeter. Oh, that's a great challenge from Ferguson. Still Ferguson. Ferguson has a strike! And Derek Ferguson scores a goal. For Exxon to make it 3 0. He gave Kevin Miller in the Exxon to goal. No chance with that one. Superb play. Beat two players before Cooley slotted it home. Ferguson. Back to Roberts. Oh, that's a great ball to the far side to Edwards. Oh, that's great play from Paul Edwards. Chance to get the cross in. Oh, it's a... Hector Sam eventually got his foot on the ball. It looked as though he was going to go behind him. He stuck out of foot. Paul was unable to put any power on it. Kevin Miller had an easy save. Power plays the ball in. It's away. Power again. Oh, great play from Darren Ferguson. Away from Wrexham again. Oh, Carlos Edwards. Has brushed the side gear. Still Edwards. Oh, he's laid it back for Morel. Handball! And the referee is awarded the penalty kick. The Exeter of City players are all confounded. Well, this could be a red card. And it's a straight red card for Chris Curran. Handling the ball from a shot from Andy Morel. And it'll be Morel himself who will take this penalty. 4 0, and you were never in any doubt. A hat trick for Andy Morel. Four goals in two games for Exxon. Barrett. Edwards made the run down the right-hand side. Barrett cuts in, might have a strike. Oh, it's off the post. Edwards. Morel. Oh, it's still Morel. Oh, what a save from Kevin Miller. Andy Morel was lucky for his fourth goal. In the game, the fifth one for Wrexham. It was Barrett's who shot, came back at the post. Edwards got the ball in. And Andy Morel tried to flick it first time. Got the rebound, but Miller made a brilliant save. Coppinger. Out to this left-hand side. Barrett gets the ball again. Oh, that's a great ball from Jones to Andy Morrell. Oh, he's just put it past the post. Morrell thought he scored as he turned away. He's complaining that he thought the, the keeper Miller got a touch on the ball.
Seven minutes gone, still nil-nil. Corner from the left-hand side, over it comes. Plenty of players going for it, but it comes to Partridge. You see the penalty, he's lost it, the penalty area. The shot came in, it was blocked, and it's gone outside. And uh, back to Carlos Edwards on the right-hand side. He cuts back, gives it uh, back to number 12, Paul Barrett, who swings it across not very terribly well. And it'll go all the way through instead onto the far side. Uh, looks like Ferguson or Ball. Ferguson gives it inside to number 15, Dan Bennett. They're trying to work their way down the left-hand side, but Stuart Wardley checks that, clears. Will Paul Hall get on the end of this one? Well, he could do because... Oh, he's a judge to have fouled. Well, it looked as if number four, Steve Roberts, had misjudged the bounce of the ball and Paul Hall was going to get away from him, but uh, the referee said no. Yeah, poor decision, I think, that from the referee. I think Paul Hall outstrengthened him a little bit and uh, judged the bounce a little bit better. And uh, Paul Edwards has gone down the left-hand side again. Skin Tarka Mustafa this time. The ball comes across, should be a goal. Easy goal, headed in by Carlos Edwards. Came from the left flank. And Carlos Edwards is on hand to put the ball in the net. So Diamond's 1-0 down. Well, uh, he, he got down the left a little bit too easy. Um, I think they got a good ball in, a good little layoff. Not, it was, to be fair, it wasn't a badly moved goal. Dibble standing in the middle of the goal behind his wall. So it must be difficult to see. Up comes Low. Low strikes. Low. Great save by Dibble. And Hall gets the rebound. 1-1. Paul Hall, the scorer. So Dahmer's back on level terms and Dibble is absolutely furious with his defence. Carlos Edwards comes away with it, he's sprinting forward. He's trying to race everybody and Martis Peters comes across with a, a timely tackle, gets a foot in and it's gone out to the right-hand side again. But again, Carlos Edwards looked dangerous for a moment there. Brexham still have it, playing it around in their defence now. Dan Bennett, booked in the first half, you remember, plays it up to Sam. Sam, a little bit of time to turn and it's come all the way through to Bennett, clear shot at goal, 12 yards out, over the bar. Well, what a chance that was. I suppose it was uh, fortunate, it was probably the defender. It looks like a little bit of um, movement on the bench. I wouldn't be surprised if Brett Sulkin was um, thrown into the action. It looks like it's up front? I think it'll probably take Scott's place, I would have thought, yeah. Oh, right. And, and probably anyway, Lee it, Trundle nearly got away from two players. They spent a great ball inside to Morell. Morell! Tries to jink round, Tony does so, gets the ball across, goal. Very, very good finish by Morell. Lovely ball through to him. Turley came out, he went round Turley and Peters as they collided. He still had a lot of work to do, uh, but he managed to beat the player on the line and put it just inside the far post. You can see why he scored a lot of goals. But he wins the header anyway but only as far as Mills. Mills kicks it long now, and Andy Lowe chasing with two players. Can he get between them? He's headed it down. He's all on his own on his right foot, chips it up in the air. Can he get the ball down? Still battling with it on his left foot now. Turns, gives it to Paul Hall, free shot. Into the box, cuts it to his left, scores! Paul Hall, brilliant goal. Does very, very well, but you've got to give credit to an Andy Lowe who held no end of players off. Ferguson gets the ball back. Whitley continues his run. Back to Whitley! And Jim Whitley just past the post. Laid off to him by Hector Sam. Whitley 20 yards out. That's a good ball into the box. Holes with the header! Oh, it's off the line by Betts and straight back into the arm. But well, Sean Holmes got the header in. He looks as though he's going to loop it to the back of the net. Betts headed it up against the crossbar in the post. Madison with the cross. Away by Barrett to Whitley. Back to Barrett. Oh, that's a good tackle from Madison. Edwards. Whitley again. He got a bit of a tackle from Clark there. Bennett brings the ball out for Wrexham. Morell. Oh, Sam's continued his run. Still Sam. Oh, it's a good tackle. Maybe a corner to Wrexham. Darren Ferguson to take it. It's a deep one as well. It's gone past everybody to Roberts. Edwards. Chance of crossing in, deep cross, Pedgick with a header, and Andy Morell has finished it off for Wrexham! 
Andy Burrell again scores for Wrexham. And it was Sean Kajiku heading the ball back into his path. Burrell had made a good run, found himself all alone, and was able to power his header past the keeper. Cut out, Ferguson, good ball forward, looking for Hector Sam. Squales comes across to close him down, nice ball into Andy Morrell. Andy Morrell again, and Andy Morrell tucks the ball in the back of the net, that's Glenn Garner, and Wrexham in the lead. He's now scored in eight consecutive games, Andy Morrell for Wrexham. There's no stopping this man now. That's the ball inside, it's a cross got in and tipped away by Andy Dibble. The shot from Lee Unsworth and it's Edwards who comes away for it for Wrexham. That's been easily disposed of. Whitley to Ferguson. Also oh, a good ball down this left hand side to Hector Sam. Nelson trying to close him down. Oh, it's a penalty referee! And he's warning the penalty. Mr Coburn. And it'll be under Morel to score the goal. And Wrexham lead 2-0. Glyn Gardner in the very goal. Had no chance, diving the wrong way. As Morel tucks it home. Pedgy. Back to Ferguson. Again to Pedgy, making good ground up over that right hand side. Oh, he tried to find a ball through to Carlos Edwards, but it was cut out by Woodthorpe. Newby outbeaten by Steve Roberts. Oh, it's away, it's Pavel Abbott. Into the box. Lays it back, and Newby tucks it into the core of the net. The man who scored the winning goal last season in the last minute for Berry has got on the score sheet again today. Pedgick oh. lays it ball back to Barrett. Oh, it's a poor ball for Barrett, and Newby might be in here, and he's gone round Dibble. Roberts is trying to get back on the line, and Newby tucks it away for the equaliser. Absolute disaster, back pass from Paul Barrett. Boys again. There's a few players in the Everton side. Mike Skinner, the uh, defence of Wrexham, Kevin Campbell. You've got the young protege on the bench tonight, Wayne Rooney, 16 years of age. Maybe David Moyes may give him a run out tonight. Smith and David Moyes having a chat on the far side. Before the battle commence, and it'll be Wrexham who will kick off this game. And away we go. Cam 
Campbell with the flick on. Ferguson, oh, he loses out. There was a chance here for Radzinski straight away, but the linesman's flag's gone up very, very quickly. Barrett. Pedgick plays it to Carlos Edwards. A good ball forward, well taken down by Andy Morell. Out to the far side to Edwards, but his first touch wasn't as good as Andy Morell's, and it's gone out for a throw into Everton. Edwards with the throw. Ferguson, oh, that's a great turn from Ferguson, looking for Andy Morell in the middle, it's away by Feng, Edwards, oh, Andy Morell nearly tucked it away, but the Wiseman's flag went up very, very quickly, he wouldn't have counted as he was in an offside position. Whitfield launching the ball forward, Carlos Edwards out jumped by David Unsworth, Campbell, that's a great ball through, looking for Radzinski. Oh, he's played a nice ball on the far side. Chance to get the cross in. And it's off the bar by Ty, and away by Ferguson. And a great chance there for Everton to open the scoring. And Scott Gemmell with the header against the crossbar. And Darren Ferguson cleared the danger. Morel, got a little shove from Yobo, but the referee's allowing the play to continue. Whitley, Edwards, a good ball over the top, flicked away again by Yobo. Lee Carsley plays the ball down the line, looking for Radinsky. Oh, that's great play by Lawrence to Carey. Barrett. Pedjik, oh, it was a poor ball from Pedjik. And it's Naismith now. Plays into this middle to tie. Oh, it's a great ball for Campbell, chance here! And a superb finish. By Kevin Campbell. Showing Premiership class there, one and one with Whitfield. And as the keeper came out, just chipped it over him into the back of the net. And Everton lead 1-0. Ferguson's free kick. And just over the bar. Had Richard Wright scrambling, though, to try and touch it over. And David Moyes is... going to bring on the youngster, Wayne Rooney. For a taste of Wendy's in Cup action. Brian Carey goes across to mark him straight away. Unsworth. Ferguson. What's a poor ball by Ferguson? Andy Morrell lays it off to Carlos Edwards. And it was a good save from Richard Wright, but a poor ball from from Ferguson, Morell, great touch off, took it out of the path of Feng. And Edwards with the shot, good save though. Edwards with a throw, away by Unsworth, back to Edwards. Naismith goes across to close him down, but he's got the better of him. Oh! And a tip over the bar from Richard Wright, but great play there from Carlos Edwards. He got the better with, of Naismith, got the cross in. And Richard Wright had to be on his toes to tip that one over the bar. Oh, good play by Holmes. So a deflection. Away by Feng. And eventually cleared up the field by Hibbert. Carey. Oh, it's a great chance now. Rooney's away. Lawrence goes across to close him down. Oh, he's trying to play a pass through then. They might fall for Feng, back to Ferguson. Oh, and that's a great intercepting tackle there. But the danger's not cleared. Lawrence, that's a good header away. Morell, Carlos Edwards makes a run, but Lee Trundles. Waiting for an option to come inside with a strike. Oh, he's hit the crossbar. What a 
chance from Lee Trundle. What a strike. And you need them sort of strikes to go in the back of the net if you're going to beat Everton. But what a superb shot. Oh, it's uh, falling nicely for Rooney. Just away, Rooney! And Rooney scores his first senior goal for Everton. The 16-year-old has been troubling Lawrence and Carey since he came on. Managed to get a couple of yards on Dennis Lawrence, and he was never going to catch him. And he showed this coolness as he tucked it past Paul Whitfield. And Everton now lead 2-0, and have put their place in the third round of the Worthies and Cup. Played by Ferguson, Lawrence, Whitfield to Holmes. Good ball, lucky for Morel. Eventually away. Lawrence again, a good header. Stubbs trying to play it through to Rooney, but it was put out by Lawrence again. Out to the far side to Pedgick. Edwards. Barrett wants the ball played inside. Still wants the ball, but uh, Carlos Edward plays a poor pass eventually. And Carsley set Rooney away. Carries goes across to close him down. It's still Wayne Rooney. He's got a bit of space. Oh, and that's a superb finish for Wayne Rooney. His second goal of the night, 3 0 to Everton. And we're going to hear a lot more about this young lad in years to come. Might fall out for Whitley. Oh, what a strike from Jim Whitley. 26 minutes gone and Wrexham take the lead. What a superb left foot to strike it into the top corner. And Wrexham got the lead. Oh, it's a chance. And Youngs has made it one all. Disaster for Wrexham. Chance for Whitley to clear. Oh, he's been beaten by Rizza. And Cambridge scored two goals in a minute. And now lead. 2-1. Morgan with a header. The 17-year-old on his debut has scored for Wrexham. A great header. And surely does what a point for Wrexham today. Brings it forward for Poole. Ball down the line. Williams. Nice ball inside. Richardson plays it to the far side to Tinkler. And Tinkler smashes it in from 20 yards out. And Harley Poole take the lead. Williams. Still Williams. Oh, he's laid a nice ball to Richardson. And he's dinked it over the top of Andy Devil. And the league leaders now lead 2 0. Oh, that's a good chest down. Ferguson is away, Jones. One on one with a keeper, Jones. 
Edwards, and he tucks it away. And Rexon have pulled one back. Lee Jones, the goal scorer. An absolute superb ball from Darren Ferguson. Jones beat the offside trap, and only for the goalkeeper to beat, he blasted it home. Also, a nice ball forward. Left down for Tinkler! And Tinkler makes it three. And Harleypool restore their two goal lead. Richardson pushing and shoving. It's been a cleared away though. Trundle. Oh, he's been edged off the ball by Lee. Tinkler plays it to the far side. Back to Tinkler. Cool cut forward again. Clark with a shot. Breaks down. Falls to Tinkler again. And Tinkler gets his hat trick. And Harley Pool now lead 4 1. Barrett goes over to. Close it down, so is Whitley. That's a neat ball played inside to Williams. It's still Williams, so he tried to pull it the ball back. Ferguson comes away with it, though. It was a poor ball from Ferguson. He was looking for Trundle. But Ferguson wins it back. Sam. Well, again, the passing's poor from Wrexham. Well, Sam, again, he tries to... Come for for Wrexham. Trundle makes a good run down the right hand side. He's been found. Still Trundle. Oh, what a strike from Lee Trundle. From a great ball from Hector Sam. He cut inside onto his left foot, looked up, spotted where Anthony Williams, the pool goalkeeper, was, and coolly killed it round him. I thought that was a foul throw, referee. Ferguson, oh, well played, Darren Ferguson. Holmes down the line. Trundle, got turned by Trundle, showing his strength again. Still Trundle. Oh, it's a great ball, looking for Jones. Oh, the keeper's brought him down. And the referee's awarded a penalty kick. And Wrexham, with two minutes left for this game, have a chance to make it 4-3. The Hartley Pool def defenders and goalkeepers are arguing with the ref. And it's Hector Sam! Oh, Williams got a touch on it. But with two minutes of normal time to play, plus probably a couple of minutes of injury time, Wrexham are back in this game. Good ball by Ferguson to his left-hand side, Holmes. Good play from Holmes. Good cross in, Trundle couldn't take it first time and away by Holland. Oh, it's a great strike and a save by Bevan. Steve Thomas with the strike. Holmes, Ferguson. Oh, it's a missed kick there. But what a strike from Steve Thomas and a good save from Scott Bevan in the Huddersfield goal. Bevan launches the ball forward. Won by Whitley. Takes on by Jones. Big punt forward. Should be Roberts. And again. Ferguson. Oh, that's a great ball free for Lee Trundle. Lee Trundle! Oh, it's a penalty! And the referee's just walked away. Well, that, from my position, looked like a blatant penalty. And Lee Trundle, no wonder he's upset. Ferguson. Good ball forward, looking for Jones. Back to Thomas. Good ball into the box. A chance for Holmes! Oh, another good save from the own long goalkeeper from Southampton. Scott Bevan makes a superb save. 
from Holmes. He pulled it down well. First touch was good. His shot was good. The keeper made a good save. It'll be Ferguson with a corner to whip it in left-footed. It's gone over. Oh, Roberts with a strike! Steve Roberts with an absolutely superb strike with his left foot. Gives Wrexham the lead. And technically, that strike was brilliant. Sharp with the header, but it wasn't a good one. Full straight for Trundle. Lee Trundle's on one of his runs. Still Lee Trundle! Oh, he just lost balance. But he was about to strike the ball and it went over the bar. But Lee Trondo was showing all his power and strength there. Beat off four players before he got his shot in. Sharp with the header. Roberts. Oh, well won by Whitley. Well, the referee's given a free kick. And it's quickly taken. Sharp plays the ball down the line. Flicked on by Steed. Mattis. Oh, that's great play from Mattis. And a superb finish. You can't take it away from the lad. That was great skill. Dwayne Mattis equalises for Huddersfield Town. After 77 minutes. Thomas being held up by Sharp and he lays it inside to Roberts good ball out to the far side Mattis closed down quickly Holmes again well played into Trundle and he got shoved off the ball Ferguson, look as though he's going to take it. No, no, he leaves it. Oh, what a strike! What a strike from Steve Thomas. I thought Ferguson was going to line himself up for that one, but Steve Thomas took the responsibility. He found the top corner of the net. Scott Bevan would never have got to that. Wrexham lead 2-1. Roberts plays the ball far side, Pedgick. Proper closes him down, so he plays it back to Roberts. Good ball forward, Andy Morell's free. Chance for Andy Morell to make it 1 0. And a good save by the keeper, Andy Morell. He's been scoring goals for fun this season. A great chance, and you expect him to put it away. Edwards. Oh, he's got the pace of Cam. Good ball into the box. And away comes City. Oh, that was a good play. Ferguson. Whitley continues his run. Nice ball into Jones. Still Whitley. Edwards. First time ball across the box. And blocked by Futcher. Holmes. Oh, he loses out to Willis. Bailey knocks the ball forward. Oh, he's got Cropper. Shows off Pedgick. Oh, it's a good finish from Dean Cropper. Three minutes into the second half, and Lincoln City take the lead. Ferguson into, inside to Roberts. Oh, it's a good ball. Lucky for Edwards, but that was cut out by Camp. <coughs> A bit bitty down in the mid midfield there. Eddie Mike plays it back, and the ball's being knocked forward to Paul Smith, and he's got a chance! And Paul Smith makes it 2-0. 77 minutes gone, Lincoln City lead, 2-0.
Roberts. Ball into Trundle. Oh, it's been pulled back, and the referee spotted it. Be a free kick to Wrexham, 20 yards out from goal. Ferguson, Roberts, and Jim Whitley all around the ball. It's Ferguson, lays it back to Roberts with a strike. Oh, what a goal from Steve Roberts. Eight minutes gone, Wrexham take the lead. And another free kick with a bit of variety. I thought again that Ferguson was going to hook it into the other corner, but he pulls it back for Roberts, who blasts it into the back of the net. Left footed, swung deep. Oh, and Duffield's on the back post to tuck it home. And it's now 1 0. Well played by Morel. Thomas is coming steaming down this right hand side. Oh, he goes himself, Morel. My ball for Thomas. And Steve Thomas tucks it away four minutes before half time. And Wrexham take the lead. <laughs> Whitley takes a free kick to Ferguson. Back to Whitley, back to Ferguson, and eventually back to Whitley again. Good ball this side. Carlos Edwards, time to run at Thomas. Edwards, oh, that's great play. Chance to get the cross in. My ball for Trundle, and Lee Trundle heads the ball home. Wrexham take the lead, but it was superb play down this right hand side from Carlos Edwards. He turned Danny Thomas inside out. Ball, hooking the ball to the far post and there was Lee Trundle all on his own and he was never going to miss from that range. It's cut out by Edwards, Thomas, Whitley to Ferguson, it's good play from Wrexham. Edwards again, chance to run down this right hand side. Trundle's coming short to receive the pass. Yeah, he's got it now. Lee Trundle, oh, he's turning, good strike! And a superb save from the keeper. Lee Trundle does what he does best, turning the defenders inside the box, getting his shot in. Fletcher plays the ball down the centre of the field. As Bournemouth come forward, Thomas, held up by Edwards, thought about crossing, decided against it, plays it back to Purchase, and goes back to Carl Fletcher. Back to Fletcher, this time knocking the ball forward, cut out by Holmes. Oh, Ferguson with the, tried the layoff to Lee Trondo, but he's not got it. And there's a chance here now for Bournemouth. Has he got in? Thomas is there. And eventually goes over the line and the referee has awarded the goal. And Danny Thomas equalises for Bournemouth. 30 minutes gone. Holmes. Good ball to the far side, looking for Edwards. Good control. Laying the ball down this lad's side to Morel, but it was cut out by Young. Holmes with the header. Forward by Fletcher. Oh, there's a chance here now for Bournemouth. Fletcher pulls it back. Good strike, and he's found the corner of the net. James Hayter with the goal. A superb strike. Bournemouth take the lead. Ferguson wins a tackle. Good chest down to Whitley. Back to Sam. Morel. Whitley again. Carl said he was calling for it on the far right hand side. Ferguson eventually goes out to Edwards. 
closed down by Purchase. Oh, again, Edwards weaving his magic. Here, cuts it across, and Andy Morrell tucked it all. A superb equaliser for Wrexham. Great play again from Carlos Edwards. The ball into Andy Morrell. And it was just one touch. He finds his way to the back of the net. Great goal from Morrell. Edwards plays the ball inside to Carlos Edwards. Paul Edwards going round Neil Young. Oh, that's well played by Edwards. Still Edwards. Oh, what a strike for Paul Edwards. Wrexham lead 3-2. And it was all his own work. Four minutes to go. Wrexham take the lead. Brilliant play by Edwards. He got inside Neil Young. Went past Marcus Browning, fired it into the roof of the net. Bournemouth come again for last chance of this game, really. Hater has been cut out. Back to Carlos Edwards. Great ball upfield, held up by Sam. Oh, great skill again. Still Sam. Oh, he's beating off three of them. Still Sam, but he's got a shot. Oh, good save from the keeper. But Hector Sam, he's got a smile on his face. He enjoyed that, beat off four players before finally getting his shot on target. And the keeper made a good save. It, it's, it's pleasing that all at once we're starting to look like scoring. We've, we've won at home in, in the league, and that was important because we've been looking good away from home, a little bit edgy at home. Perhaps that will take that away now. Well, the fans are thinking about going up. I mean, you are showing the kind of spirit which could push you towards them playoff places, can't you? I expect to be in the top six. I've said that since the opening day of the season. Now, that won't change. It's going to be a long time between now and then. A lot of things can happen, injuries, suspensions, uh, but with the squad I've got together, and it is a squad, it's not just the team who, who, who turn out. It, as you've seen today, the two lads who've, who've come on subs have changed the game for us. It is a squad game, and I think I've got a squad strong enough to be in the top six.